Hi there and thanks for coming past to check out this video. What we're going to look at today is a data validation trick and it's something that I used in my athlete fitness workshop which uh, you may have already seen in one of my previous videos. Um, if you haven't and you want to check it out you can go to my website or email me and I'll send you a little demo version of it. Basically it's a tool that allows you to, using drop down boxes, write training programs and uh, you can put all your own exercises in there and, and uh, just save yourself a little bit of time and, and use a consistent format and so on. Anyhow, that's not what I'm uh, here to show you. It's about data validation today. So I'm just going to switch sheets to um, one that I've started to put together. And really what I've got here is uh, six categories of exercises. I've just pasted in some uh, example exercises that I used over the years. and. All I'm going to do is put a title on the top of each one. Now for the purposes of today, it doesn't really matter what this title is. I'll just do something really simple. Just so I can demonstrate. Alright, and as I was typing those in there, you would have seen that over here this was populating itself. And that's pretty simple. That's just because... Um, I had direct, directly linked the cell. And so what I've done already um, is I've selected these and I've typed categories up into the name box. Now that's just setting up the first of our named ranges. If I go down here, this is where we're just going to put together a program. If I'm inside the source box, I can hit F3 and just pick the name that I have predefined. So that's good. First bit done. Now the hard bit revolves around us um, pre-configuring what these categories are. So we can name the range category 1. going to copy that so I don't have to type it each time one more to go Okay, so I've now named those category 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. What I want to be able to do is have it so that um, the user can select what they know as category 1, i.e. with the title squat, bench, pull, cleans, etc. that the Excel knows as being category 1. So previously, when I've done data validation drop-down lists that are linked to each other, you use the indirect function. So we're going to do that again, but I just have to use a VLOOKUP inside that. And to do so, I just need to make this a table. So I'm going to call this exercise category table. So what I want to do now is link drop down boxes in these cells to our table. So this is the tricky formula that we have to write. So previously, when we linked um, data validation boxes to each other, I would have gone something like that. And that would have been enough. It would have looked for a name range called squat and shown us all the exercises inside that named range. Unfortunately, there is no name range called squat. That the name range is called category 1, so we have to do a VLOOKUP to tell us that. If I want to drag that down, I need to not have the dollar sign next to 26. And so what I've done now 
is I've simply written a VLOOKUP function inside the indirect. Now let's see if that works. So I've selected squat and now we've got all the squat exercises. Selected bench, so now we've got all the bench exercises. So that's working great. And it allows a user to say, you know what, I don't like any of these. I'm going to call it crunches. I think there are still people out there that do normal crunches. And everything still works fine. So that's really what we're trying to create, the ability for people to create their own categories, put their own exercises in and have everything work. Now you would have noticed, and it's something that really annoys me, I know that much, is that each of the lists default to the bottom rather than the top of the list. Now the reason that happens is that I just created a name, a named range by dragging down to the bottom of this box here. What I really should have done is have the, the ranges be um, slightly different so that it would only show uh, the first uh, or the top of the list rather. Now there's one really easy way to do that and that way is simply by having a blank row at the top of the category. So if you have a blank row at the top of the list what it does is automatically selects that first. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the name manager. And what I've got here is I've got the category selected. So I just want to change that to only include the exercises rather than the category heading. I'm just going to copy over a bunch of exercises. Now by default I believe it's eight exercises or eight items in a list get shown. So in the crunches category now what we'll find is it jumps to the top of the list all the time and the reason is is because of this blank here. So without the blank for example with cleans it jumps to the bottom of the list and so if we do that again cleans was category 4 I'm just going to change it to take out the heading and now I'm going to delete the top item which is a good old power clean I'm just going to drag this down so that there's a few more items in the list so now when we go to cleans, it's at the top of the list each time. Now I think that's very useful, um, it's nothing worse than scrolling up. If you've got the exercises that you choose most regularly at the top of the list, then uh, you don't have to scroll down far each time. Okay, there you go, that's uh, everything for today. Using a VLOOKUP inside the indirect function. I call that a VLOOKUP inside a VLOOKUP. Send me an email if you want a copy of uh, this spreadsheet or if you want a demo file of the Athlete Fitness Workshop. You can buy the, the full working version on my website if you need to, but otherwise I will see you soon.